Alright guys, it's the next day, we're back, <laughs> and uh, I got gas, I was able to stop after work and get some gas, so I figured, let me get this welded up real quick, we'll take a quick peek at it, then I'm going to hang it up, and we'll put some of this high temperature, high heat paint on there, and while that's drying, I guess we'll start fattening up the bracket for the other side, get everything ready. I got to make sure I can finish that job before the weekend, because... Uh, I promised my buddy if it don't rain, I would bring the car out and do a parade for his uh, little league team or something like that. So let me get this welded up real quick. And see what we got. Uh, I think I want to be on this side. I'm going to move you guys over here. <laughs> I think I want to be on this side of the table. Woo. Well, I just hooked us into the rafters there. Sorry bouncing you guys around. It got caught up on a wire there. Yeah, I got them wires for when I hang up parts to, to paint. I don't have much room in the shop. We always seem to manage. We always seem to get just enough to get whatever job we want to do done. We'll always manage. I guess I should check the flow meter real quick on the torch. Because I, I don't feel like I should have ran out of gas. I don't take well that much gas. See, it's way up. This thing's hypersensitive. Shut it. Turn it open a half a turn. That's what's going on. That's why I chose so much gas. My flow meter is just... That's better. Still a little high, but the, at least it's not floored. <laughs> I got to get a better flow meter, I guess. There. Hold, I got to hold the pipe up and weld it at the same time. It can get challenging. You guys take a quick peek and i'm just gonna hang this up and we'll hit it with the with the paint we'll touch up where we knock the paint off of it you guys can see right there where i was just using i didn't even use the filler rod right there i just wanted to to clean up where the uh start and stop where i had two start and stops right beside each other i don't like doing that without filler rod but just wanted to smooth those couple areas out but there you go and uh you guys that didn't watch the video the other day we got our hanger on there and we got this one welded up so all these places where you know what i undercut that when i cut the weld off for the old hanger maybe i ought to weld that up real quick with a little bit of carbon steel just to make sure i didn't blow a hole i, I know that i know it didn't go the whole way through but better safe than sorry Alright, wait, that's good enough for what we're doing. Alright, let you guys take a quick peek. Like I said, I just had where I cut that old hanger off, there was a, a little, uh, little, little, little uh, undercut there. And as soon as I touched it with a torch, it popped a little hole, so we had to fill it up. So. I'm happy with that. Now we just want to hang this pipe up on these wires and uh, just 
douse it with a little bit of that heat paint and get ready to put this thing on here in a little bit. You don't want to, you don't want to mess with that side for a minute. I'm sure that's plenty hot. Ooh, that's still warm there too. <laughs> well, what do you expect? You just welded it. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be all right right there. That's got to be a terrible camera angle. I hope you were able to see something there. Maybe I can fix it with the cropping tool when I put it on the computer. We'll see. What can I do with that wire brush? The paint stayed on this pretty good, except right here at this little wide that we got for our cutout. Just right on the top on the one side. I bet you if I've got out the little spot Sandblaster, I could probably etch it. Come on, man. It's good enough for this year. It'll give me something to do at some other point. I ordered new collector gaskets, but unfortunately, I clicked buy it now, and they were three inch. <laughs> so they're over there on the pile. I'll use those for the Nova. And uh, I got a set of four inch coming, but I'm just gonna put the old ones back on for now. And it's not terrible. I mean, it's not great. It's not optimal, but it'll be all right for now. I'm sure it may leak a little bit, but I, I don't think so. I think it'll be okay. She's coming down, so I'm sure it's warm. <laughs> you should have heard this thing cackling the life whenever I turned it on without it, without an exhaust on the on the driver's side. Oh my goodness! I thought it was loud with the glass pack on there. I didn't really leave it running. I don't like to run with one side. A little restricted on one side, not, but just enough so I don't have to push it back on the pad. So we have a little bit of workspace here. There you go. That's nice. This stuff dries pretty fast. I say it holds up pretty good. scratch it up too bad when we put it in. I think I should grab some black paint and hit that bracket underneath the car too so that's dry. And while all this stuff's setting up, like I said, we'll start making the bracket for the other side. You know, I, I hope you guys are liking this format of video. It's like some, something different I'm trying. I watch a lot of Bad Chad and how he just does different stuff every day. Obviously, I'm not doing anything on that scale customizing. I mean, well, I guess a little bit. We're doing that over there, right? We're cutting every piece of sheet metal out of that at some point. But some nights, like tonight, I work during the week, so I can only come out here for an hour or two. And it's kind of hard to put together videos. So I'm hoping it's like, you know, okay, you just want to hang out in the shop for a minute while I'm doing a couple things? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I'm kind of small for that, but why not? 
Yeah. When you do the same thing over and over again and you're getting the same result, well, try something different. So that's what we're doing. We're trying something different. All right. I have some black paint. I think it's already out. Yes, over here. Ooh, this is almost empty. Ooh. I hope I have one over there. I don't know if I do or not. It looks like there might be just enough in this one. Yeah, I got another fusion can back there. I'll grab that one. Almost empty cans. Huh. I got this all surface. Direct the metal stuff. Pro. Is it, is it matte or is it gloss? I don't know. Well, let's see if I can squeeze enough out of this for at least this side on that bracket. Eventually got to see if I can get those microphones to work with this GoPro. I got I to gotta start technologically advancing myself a little bit more, I think. Uh, let's see here. I got to still squeeze through some spots, guys. That's why I covet the days of no rain where I at least have a little bit of shop space. Oh. pull those nuts and that washer off of there i gotta remember i put the bolt back in the, so it didn't have an open hole on my old area where i used to set the uh where i used to set up the muffler for a hanger but i didn't want an open hole so i gotta remember to, to tighten that up behind there I'm not gonna worry about getting a little bit of a little bit of paint on the threads. I'm not worried about that. I'll have to get a measuring tape too. I don't remember how long this is, and I'm gonna make sure it's good for the other side too. We'll find that out here in a minute. Like I said, we gotta give this paint a minute to set up. Zappity zappity. Keep things nice and neat. I like this fusion stuff. Everything in one. And it, it all blends. It's all the same colors. Everything's the same color under here. See. Oop, we got a little run there. She's taking off on us. That's okay. No big deal. Alright, let me grab the measuring tape real quick. Three and a half. So we'll make it three and three eighths and make a cap on the end. And that'll be three and a half. Let's, well, before we do that, let's go to the other side. And, and we can pretty much, man, I got a lot of runs there. Look at that. They're having a race to the bottom. I hate, I hate that. I don't like that. This will make it a little matty. That'll be all right. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Our stuff ain't too bad here, huh? Oh, that big old vile weed I gotta get rid of. All right, let's see here. Oh, love under there. All right, let's see here. It kind of looks, see this one's hanging way down. Look how loose everything got. This is why I'm doing it, guys. This is just, it got, it come, as, this is things as loose as a goose, man coming out of the pipe over here we got to tighten up on this clamp just to get it to the bench there 
this. I think it'll be the same. So five, and then with the hanger, uh, let's make it long again and cut it twice. That's what we did on the other side, but I think we were exactly the same. If I went in and just looked at the video, I could probably, I might do that because I think I was five inches before and then we marked it and we ended up cutting it down to three and a half with the cap on the end. All right, we'll be back in a few. All right, guys, I went back and I looked at the video from the other day. We first measured five inches on that driver's side. We ended up cutting it down to about three and five eighths because of the kick out on the hanger. It all, the math all works out. So I marked these pieces and we're just going to go with it. This is gonna, we're going to use this uh, flat bar as our cap, make it a nice clean end to place the floor. And I got this marked out at three and five eighths. So we'll get that cut off real quick. I think after we get these pieces cut, we may be uh, dry enough. It looks dry enough now to where we can uh, hang up the, the exhaust. sticker on there too. They don't get nothing but in the way, man. They really need to... Well, I guess you, when you go up to pay for the stuff, they have to have a way to charge you. Alright, so we'll make it. Get that meg together and let it cool off. And while it's cooling off, we'll start bolting up the uh, start bolting up the, the exhaust. Let's see. We still... We still got about 500 pounds in this one. See this? This is uh, 75, 25, 75 percent carbon. Was it monoxide, dioxide, whatever, and 75 percent argon? The TIG welders, 70 or excuse me, 100 percent argon. So if anybody was wondering why I didn't just switch bottles, that's why. Well, this one here is a little. This tilt back. Saw that when I was sitting there telling me that. Uh, we don't need that bottle falling off there. Alright. Get this megged up real quick. We got our MIG welder turned way up for this because it's eighth inch. Well, not way up, but you guys, you guys understand. I like the idea of having this bracket ready for the next.
trigger feeling a little funny. Hopefully it don't go bad on me. Myself, but I should have caught myself right away. Always wear your safety. Belt. Just want to dust off the, the little surface on it, and it's a little warm. So let's uh, let's hook our let's hook the exhaust up on the uh, driver's side. Let me uh, let me get set up for that. Uh, let's see. I'm trying not to scratch up our, our paint job, <laughs> but like I say, once it's up in the car, we can always do a little touch up. I see there's a little bit of exposed right on right behind the, the hook here. There we go. Not anymore. Alright. Take her out there and I'll come back and get you guys. I think what I want to do is I want to I want to hook the back hanger in. We'll hook the back hanger and then we'll just grab the jack just to support it, and then we'll put the the gasket and put that back in. Let me grab a, a light. The other one's over on the table. I got one here. Oh, man. I tell my kid I'm running low on flashlights. <laughs> I I like those I like those flashlights. All right, let's see. out of the way hopefully you guys can see should be able to I can hear myself dragging on the front so we're definitely gonna have to touch that paint up huh there you go now that's just we're just gonna put the nuts on there so it can't fall back off all right what you guys can see and what you can't see I'm just gonna just so it can't fall off Don't worry about tightening all that up here in a minute pretty exciting stuff here for me for me anyway I hope you guys like it there we go this has been haunting me you guys saw how bad that passenger side was I had to keep tightening that crap up this is gonna make a, a world of difference for me all right, let's uh, turn everything around. Go up here to this side. I gotta go grab that used gasket because I'm a bonehead, but it'll be okay for right now. Can see right here. Maybe you can let me know. Yeah. 
there you go that's okay i'm sorry to bounce you guys around i, I want to give you a good angle i know it's just there ain't too much but you know sometimes i just like hanging or hanging around in the shop remember the old days we all used to hang out in the garage and it's like them days are long gone you know but this is like as close as you can get to it except you ain't got somebody to grab the other end you know <laughs> give me <your> hand. <laughs> once in a while and my buddies stop up once in a while all right. All right. Got down on there. Okay. There you go. I just take our gasket. That's the best we're gonna do with it. I'm kicking them cans all over the place. They're rolling down into the yard. Oop, I don't remember to find them. I got that on there. I don't tell me that. Oh, yeah. I did. I did hit that thing around a little bit. I might have to bend that. I have to go bend that hanger a little bit. Tell me you don't fit. Oh my, my goodness. I might have to do this side first huh? and bend that other side. Oh my goodness. I got Might be a smidge short. I may have to go bend that go bend that hook a little bit forward. Oh, hit the light off there. Sure is. Let me take a look down this other end and see what's going on there. Because we tacked everything in place, you guys saw it, but I did, I did hit this. It's uh hook a little bit. Let me see if I can loosen these bolt these nuts up a little bit just to give me a tiny bit more for yeah that's gonna help a lot. Just enough so they don't fall off. I, that's gonna give us I think that's gonna give us exactly what we need. Okay. We're gonna find out. <laughs> I hope it does. If not, we got we got stuff to fix it guys. <laughs> we don't get too excited about stuff. Uh, uh, there you go, there's one. Uh, oh, if I can get that not started there, let me, uh, maybe I'll get an easier one first. That would make a little more sense, wouldn't it? There you go. good like I say worst case scenario back here I think it's okay when I tighten everything up but even if it wasn't we could bend that a little bit but I don't think we're gonna have to I think it's gonna come in on its own you know this pipes over a span you know so you got a little flex started that one's tight yeah screw that one in from the top I remember that and just hold the nut all right here you go now let's get these get them wrenches out
think that's good. All right, let's get the hanger down here before we get dark. Oh. Like I say, it's a little, little bit uh, pulling forward a little bit, but I think the rubber. The more, let me show you. See how the, before I get tightening on that, see how it's got a little, little gap on on there. We'll close it right up by tightening it up, and the rubber bushing should take take that no problem. That's what I was fighting at, at the beginning there. Like I say, it's just metal. If we had to, we could bend some things. <laughs> but I know how that happened, because I put that dingleberry weld on there for the hanger, but then it was a little crooked on there, and I remember hitting it. And I remember after hitting it, I'm like, well, maybe it wanted to be like that, right? <laughs> but I like things to look nice and straight. Man. This one's looking nice and straight now. Like I said, when I put this exhaust in and I had it running behind the tire and had everything tight, I could shake the whole car by the exhaust. But trying to use that hanger for this side pipe was not working. Alright. And I don't want to forget, like I told you guys, I put that bolt in the old hanger hole right here. And I just did that. Uh, nothing gets in there and if I want to use it again at some point I can just back the back the bolt out won't let nothing get into my won't let nothing get into my uh, cross brake my floor brace there you go oh, the bolt will plug it up there you go and that's done all right guys we got the it's getting dark and we've got the driver's side in take a look Let's see if I can get this over here for you guys it's absolutely gorgeous look how tight it is it ain't the whole car i can shake the whole car now and it's not moving so that's not going to bounce around you guys saw how sloppy it was in the first video and i showed you how sloppy that passenger side was that's excellent if we can get the other side to look just like this and we will uh, we'll be in business all right oh let me go up here I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I mean, I'll, I'll edit this down a tiny bit. Not really a lot. i just leaving everything in there. It's just BW working in the shop. All right. So let me get my mess cleaned up. And uh, let me see how hot this is. All right, this cooled down. So you guys can look at that real quick. I just got to dust it off and, and we'll get it, uh, the holes put in it. I never got bolts, so I'll just use those long ones and cut them down and weld them on just like we did on the other one. We'll pick that up tomorrow after work, provided I got uh, free free time. <laughs> I got to cut my grass tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. All right, take care, everybody.